Thanks for joining us tonight. Janesville police say they're investigating whether an incident outside of a Walmart yesterday could qualify as a hate crime. Yeah, police say there's no easy way to make that determination. Our Adam Duxter took a closer look tonight at what happened. It is new tonight at 10. What started out as a normal trip to the store for one Janesville man. I was going there to grab like some food and stuff. Quickly became something serious. I said like a group of people was like uh, like three, four women and like three, four like, you know, Caucasian males. So I'm looking over and he's like cursing at a elderly African-American woman on the other side. Janesville police say a group of young adults had begun harassing a woman after a dispute about her parking. This man who we are choosing not to name saw it all happen and stepped in and says he heard them threaten her and allegedly referenced to the color of her skin. That's somebody's grandma. Let it be my grandmother. He says he confronted the group led by 20 year old Anthony Cryer of Beloit. He says that's when Cryer turned on him, using racial slurs before allegedly threatening him with a gun. He lifts off his shirt and he had a, um, a silver revolver. After that point, I mean, ain't nothing you can really do. I mean, I'm not going to sit there and run up and try to fight him when he has a gun on his, and it's tucked in his pants. He says that's when he called police, who showed up and arrested Cryer and one other female. Later on, police found Cryer's gun, which they say he had tried to get rid of. Now they're investigating if this could be considered a hate crime. No tolerance for any type of racial slurs, any type of hate crimes. Uh, we will have no tolerance for that in Janesville. Well, the person they allegedly targeted says he's scared something like this could happen again. And you're calling me all these names and stuff and all that, but you got a gun. I don't take racism kindly at all. I have zero tolerance for it. Adam Duxter reporting Anthony Cryer is out of jail after being booked and released. Police are investigating to see whether or not this could escalate to hate crime charges. But in doing so, they're asking the woman who was involved at the start to come share what happened to her. Police